visitors to Keeneland know all about Lexington's history as a producer of top-class thoroughbreds. The area's other signature industry is bourbon, which is honored at the up-and-coming distillery district. Located minutes from downtown, the distillery district includes distilleries, breweries, a pizzeria, an ice cream cafe, and more, which all sit on the site of the James E. Pepper Distillery, which distilled some of the first bourbons in Kentucky in the late 1800s. After falling vacant for around 50 years, the James E. Pepper Distillery has been recently restored, and visitors can taste bourbons inspired by some of the spirit's original recipes. The story of the James Pepper Distillery starts with his grandfather, Elijah Pepper. Um, he started distilling around the, the Revolutionary War times, the, the late 1700s, um, ended up moving west through what was Virginia, is now Kentucky, into Woodford County, um, and established a distillery there, which was later become, became the uh, Woodford Reserve Distillery. James Pepper got this distillery going around 1879, initially. It um, operated until Prohibition, and at that point it had burned in around the 1933 range, and then 1934 Prohibition was over. Um, by that time, James had passed. Um, the distillery and the brand had been purchased by Shinley Corporation, um, so they took over and ran it from 1934 to 58. Um, again, there was some overproduction in the industry, and at that point, this distiller was deemed not necessary for their portfolio. So they mothballed it and it sat for years and years. It was purchased by a group of entrepreneurs and investors in the area um, and they started to revive it as it is today. There's a lot of time and a lot of work that goes, goes into making whiskey. Um, the easy part is what we do here. We go, we're grinding the grains and, and fermenting. That's only a, a three-day process and then you're, you're through the still and then into the barrel. You know, I, I've been in the industry since I was a young man. I was 19 years old when I started. So I'm very confident in what we're making and, and uh, processes that I picked up in other distilleries um, that I'll be able to carry on the tradition of, of what this brand means and what the history of this family has meant to the distilling world. Today we are producing a high rye bourbon. Um, all the grain is ground in our mill at the back of the building. We heat water up here in our thousand gallon cooker. The grain is added to the cooker, cooked up to uh, help gelatinize all the grains, make them available, make the sugars available for the yeast. Uh, we'll then cool this mash and pump it into one of our 4,000 gallon fermenters behind us. And those are in different stages um, from 24 to 48 hours to, to what we would call drop, which is a, a three day fermentation. This fermenter here is the one we're running to our still today. Um, we'll yield in, a, in the neighborhood of two and a half to three barrels from that. At each one of these windows, we have a tray. Um, there's steam coming in at the bottom, mash coming in at, at, at that pipe at the top. The mash is gonna matriculate down through holes, perforations in those trays. The heat, the steam is gonna be coming up. You're gonna get a separation, alcohol going up, mash and water coming down. That condensed alcohol will come out, go through a condenser, and it's gonna come out through this fountain, our spirit safe right here. At this point, it is reheated back into a vapor, goes up out this pipe, goes through the, the high wine condenser or the doubler condenser, and then comes out as finished product over here, and is collected in our high wine tank. In addition to the James E. Pepper Distillery, the distillery district also features the Barrel House Distillery and Elkhorn Tavern, the popular bar and pizzeria Goodfellas, the Crank and Boom Ice Cream Lounge, and a handful of breweries, bars, and even a cider. Be sure to watch for more features from our Destination Lexington series as the countdown continues for the Keeneland September Yearling Sale.